Hello. Well, today I am going to be talking about getting inspiration from your closets. And I know it's always fun when you find something that just really makes you feel good. I do have prints in my closet, but the my favorite has to be animal prints and more specifically leopard print. And I know that with time I have accumulated more and more animal print pieces in my wardrobe and that is kind of how you end up starting to define your style is when you know you start gravitating towards towards a look and it's the way it makes you feel and if you feel good in it you look good in it one of my most favorite uh pieces has to be my my pump and this shoe just I, I absolutely, I feel fierce. I feel fierce when I wear, wear these. Now, I do have to throw a little bit of caution when, when you are wearing a print period, um, is you don't want to overdo it. So you don't want to be head to toe in, in animal print. It's really a nice look when you have maybe a very neutral, neutral backdrop, like, say all black and then maybe an animal print scarf or headband um, shoes so it's just those little added touches that really do do make make an outfit really come together now also when we're talking about you know animal prints in and of itself they're very very neutral generally i mean unless you're wearing you know blue purple lizard or whatever but if you're wearing, say, the the leopard print, we're talking a very, very neutral palette. We're talking browns and blacks and things like that. So one fun thing that you can do with that is have that, but then maybe add a pop of color. So one way to do that, uh, as you can probably see, I've I've added a touch of color to my hair. I also created this eye look where I'm using browns and, and very, very neutral palette, but then I did add just that little punch of purple. And that that is a fun way to add color to your look. 